So I'm a feature producer for NBC Sports. Um, I specifically work on the Olympics and I'm currently doing features for Thursday Night Football. So we have come to interview Kevin Dyson. We're doing a story on him. Um, the series is called Life After Football. So we're speaking with several former NFL players and telling their story of what they're up to now. So we uh, are following Kevin around today, doing kind of a day in the life and getting to know what his day-to-day -day is like now after football. Initially, it was a little apprehensive. I think I sat on it for a little bit, um, probably hoping people told me no, a little bit outside of my comfort zone to be followed around by cameras and, and talking about myself. I eventually, you know, talking to Dr. Patton and, and things like that, and just come to the realization that get get outside my comfort zone, get a, get a, get out there and just, you know, basically brand myself and express myself and all things I've been able to do and accomplish. And it also brings good light to Independence High School, hopefully, and then Williamson County Schools. The whole process, start to finish, um, it's, it's kind of a, a big process. Uh, you know, we figure out our stories first and um, from there we put together our team, get our crew together, figure out our shoot locations, and um, uh, you know, then it's on the road shooting, uh, interviews, and uh, you know, gathering B-roll, whatever the footage you need, and you get back to the office, and it's ingesting the footage and getting transcriptions and putting everything together and then getting ready for your edits. The process is a fun one. Uh, sometimes it can be a long process, just getting things together, a lot of different schedules. Um, but it's normally pretty fun being able to come up with whatever creative concept you want and, uh, you know, there's no limit. Well, hopefully it is somewhat inspiring because, you know, I think a lot of times uh, from a professional athlete standpoint, you get used to a certain lifestyle, used to a certain dollar amount, a certain sense of, uh, of, of uh, perks and things like that. And uh, it is hard, you know, there's, there is a sense of, of mourning when it's all gone and, and none of that stuff is available to you anymore. And so you have to somewhat humble yourself and start over. And for me, I was 30 years old. So, you know, it wasn't like I was just fresh out of college or anything. I had been getting out of college for eight years. Um, and here I am trying to figure out what I'm going to do with my life at 30. You know, so um, it can be challenging. Hopefully, um, somebody that sees it can say, you know, I can do that. I can, I can do more. I can accomplish things. So oh, we'll see. Game mode right now. Oh, so, then you can go around again. Does this make it feel like you're about to